Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would do a very quick tutorial on uh, the basics of projector LCDs. Basically, how to position them correctly and things like that. Um, now right now, I'm in someone else's creation. Um, this is a little storefront that I made for this creation, and a whole lot of other authors are going to be making uh, storefronts as well in the commercial sector of a very large space station. Very cool space space station made by the script HD or being made by the script HD it is a work in progress right now and is uh, under construction and I don't exactly know when this is going to be done and ready but there's going to be a whole lot of authors that are going to have storefronts in the commercial district of the station um, and I'm trying to do something kind of silly again uh, with most of my signage here so we got the uh, the the Jay's Java juice uh, cappuccino place or something like that um, just kind of a uh, weird name that <laughs> makes you kind of like, huh? Uh, but anyway, um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to place a LCD menu like right above this area here. I figure people would come in, well, you know, and 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 f fiction and uh, you know order here and pay for the drink and go out into the uh, the shopping district. Uh, so what I want is a menu positioned right above here with the uh, projector style LCD. So to do that, um, basically go through the steps on it here. So somewhere right now I'm gonna place an LCD. Now, because this is not over a, uh, a block area, like uh, what I'm talking about, like this sign up here is like right on top of the uh, the block work that's there. Um, that requires me to, to have this look right and not like bleed into the blocks. It has to, the LCD uh, that I placed has to be facing the same direction as what the LCD itself needs to be at um, because there's a block wall there. Um, in this case, it does not have to be because uh, it's just floating in, in, in midair. So there's no reference points, there's nothing to obscure it. If, if I were to say have this LCD uh, mounted on uh, over here or on the sidewall or the floor or anything like that and line it up to be in the same position, it would literally, you wouldn't be able to see most of it or to kind of like fade in and out um, because it'll be like merged in with the, uh, the face of the block. It, it causes a very weird problem. So just keep that in mind. If you can, always try to face the LCD, the, the direction you want it to be at like uh from here to over here anyway enough about that let's uh let's pop in uh, one of these projector lcds over here and the first step i i typically do when i want to position and size lcd is i'll hop in the lcd with the uh the, the p key hop in here and i will set a background color to something um usually like a gray or something doesn't really matter though and this basically shows you the outer uh, borders of your LCD, which is very useful, especially when you try to position it around somewhere. Now, I want to alter this too. I don't want it to be a square like that. So I'm going to increase the width to two, and I'm going to lower the height down to 0.5. So it's kind of a, a long, wide rectangle here. Now, the next trick is I got to get this turned and put over above this countertop over to the side of the screen here. Now, this all gets a little bit tricky. Um, well, it's not too tricky. It's just some, some lessons to know. Like if I just try to try to do that here, now you have these three uh, positioning controls on this side here. You have your X, which would be your uh, like your left and your right. Uh, and you can see when I move that around that the LCD is moving. Uh, you have your Y, which is up and down. And then you have your Z, which is forward and backwards. Okay, so in, in this case, I know I want this up higher. So I'm going to increase the uh, the Y here. Uh, let's say we go to like, yeah, 1.25. That sounds about right. And I, I also know I'm going to need to bring it forward, and then i got to rotate it over that way. So let's uh, increase the Z so it should bring it closer to view here. I'll bring it out a couple here. We'll bring it out to about two. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky. Like if I wanted to, uh, we can rotate it as well over here with the uh, the Y rotation. But as you can see, it's getting incredibly hard for me to see where the heck this LCD is in relation to where I'm trying to put it. Um, so what I usually would do here is I'll hit escape to get out of this menu again. I'll leave it there. 
And as long as you do not select something else, like a refrigerator or a constructor or something, or have your cursor pointed at it, anywhere else, it I can hit the P key again. It'll bring me right back in the LCD I was just in. Basically, it brings you into the previous thing you were in, unless you're t touching on something new. So if I come over here and adjust my camera position to here so I can kind of see what's going on and hit P again, I can access that LCD again and then move it from this position to a closer position to where I'm trying to get it to. So let's uh, let's modify this and try to get this dialed in a little bit better here. So we got our X position. Now, X, uh, because I rotated it 90 degrees, both the X and Z kind of reversed. Like the, uh, the X and Y was right and left, but now it's uh, because I'm at this orientation, it's forward and backwards, and the Z is right and left. Um, so... What I want to do is I want to bring that in further, and I think it's a little too high now too. So let's bring that let's bring that down. Let's try it right there. Let's try to keep the scaling all right. Um, let's see how do we look here? So it's a little forward. I want to bring it uh, another block over this back direction here. So let's try to get a different angle on it again. And we got to adjust our Z. I think no. <laughs> I got it wrong there. Okay, we want to adjust the X, so let's bring it back to, let's, how about right there? Looks pretty good. All right, so now we've got that placed kind of where I wanted it. Um, one other little thing we can do with it, we can also rotate this at a, like a 45, so it's kind of facing anybody that would stand be standing in line here. I don't really need to do that, but I thought maybe maybe it'll look better. I don't know. It's uh, It's an option. Um, so to do that, we want to uh, adjust our X rotation, I believe, but because I got it at a 90 degree angle anyway, a lot of things kind of reverse on what you would think they would do. Um, but, oh, hey, I got that right the first try. Good deal. So that's, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to turn it so the text and the LCD is facing you right here. Um, and that's, that's the easiest way I found to position LCDs. Just, um, Keep in mind what when I say when you're when you're it's going to bring in the last thing that you edited. Like I could go out in the hallway here, I could get back into the LCD, edit it some more. But if I was looking at the LCD here and I had my cursor say pointed at a at a freezer back here and hit P, it's going to go into that freezer and not the LCD. So just keep that in mind. And when I come back out here again, it'll bring up the last thing you selected, which is the freezer and not the LCD. So the only real way to do it is to make sure. You hop in here, you look at it, so the game knows, hey, this is the last thing I looked at. Make sure you're not pointing at any other device that you can get into properties on, and then you can adjust your view to see it. Now, one of the cumbersome problems with the, with the LCD, though, is the interface for it. Um, it tends to draw it right in front of where you need to see. Um, like, all this, this entire window should be pushed off to the sides of the screen or something but it's right in front of your face. So this is going to be, it, 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 usually when I'm working on an LCD, I got I to gotta reposition my camera view tons of times to look at everything, to see what's going on and stuff like that. And you just, just keep in mind, you'll probably have to do that. Um, now, I didn't really actually want to make the LCD itself in this video. Um, I fear it could go sour <laughs> like uh, a lot of other LCDs I have done uh, have when I try to make them. Like... I get to a certain thing, and I, I, I got to position like the whole LCD like uh, a little bit um, within its own internal uh, stuff, and then it it screws the whole thing up. That's what happened to this actually like two or three times. Literally, I that's why it took so darn long to make, and it was frustrating as all get up to uh, make that LCD. And it doesn't, it's not even that complicated of an LCD, but it was very frustrating to make. I don't enjoy making these LCDs at all. Um, but I love the results of them. I, I, I think it's a really cool feature in the game, and it can really do really cool stuff. I've seen lots of lots of really neat looking LCDs. Some even like 3D displays and stuff like that. And it's it's extremely cool what you can do with it. It just takes a lot of practice and patience, um, and there's a lot of hurdles to go, to get over to make these things. Um, uh, a lot to do with the interface of of the LCD itself. Um, but I'll get into that at some other video. Now, I made a video in the past on making LCDs where I actually did kind of break down and work on a, like a angled frame similar to what's going on over here. Um, I'll try to do another one 
in the near future uh, because I, I have learned new things about LCDs along the way too and how to structure the commands a little better and some new commands and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to do an update on uh, actually making the LCDs. But if I started this menu now with what I want it to, to have, and that is like, uh, like the name of the shop, maybe across somewhere in the middle here. And then I want to have uh, some kind of like trim border around this area here. And then like, uh, I don't know, three or four rows of like menu items on here uh, you know a lot like you would see in a fast food place or something um that that's the end goal that i want to do but just to do what i said there is probably gonna i'll probably be at it for like a couple hours um and probably be frustrated most of that time <laughs> until it's done so that's just that's just me anyway um that that's all i've got for to to uh today's video and uh again like on the station that uh I'm in right now. Um, you'll see it sometime. I just, you know, it's it's not mine to show. It's not ready to show. Someone else will show it. Probably the author, Script HD himself. So uh, you can check it out. I, I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be a like a player creation or more or less a uh, some kind of uh, POI for the game itself. So we we will see. Um, anyway, y'all have yourself a great day, and I will talk to you later.